All right. Wait, who's timing you? You are. Hi, <laughs> Chris, hello. Well, of course, this is Jake. This is my youth leader. Um, and welcome, Jake. Uh, welcome here. For those who didn't, uh, weren't here when he introduced himself, he's uh, I've known him for like four or five years now, and uh, he's done some incredible things in my life. So, uh, before I begin, I want to talk about uh, the Bible. Um, has anyone uh, who has read the Bible and knows like how to find verses and stuff like that? Well, um, for those who have not touched the Bible really at all, um, the Bible is made up of many books. Uh, so should like I'll be going over Genesis, which I'll just say it's Gen. And uh, it'll be Genesis chapter something. Uh, so it'll be number, and it'll be dot dot, and then it'll say and it'll be verse something, like one through three. So I don't have to constantly uh, say in the book of, in the chapter of. So I got that clear. Okay. To begin. There is a war over our souls, I truly believe this, because I don't think there's as many Christians as there ever was before. My general purpose came to me when I was, uh, when I was uh, reading, and uh, this verse says, In everything set them an example by doing what is good. In your teachings show integrity, seriousness, and soundness of speech that cannot be condemned. So that those who oppose you may be ashamed because they have nothing to say or bad to say about us. That's in uh, Titus chapter 2, verse 7 through, 10, or 7 through 8. Um, my thesis is God is our creator. Um, I believe he's, he's real. My uh, three main reasons uh, we'll be looking in the book of Genesis. I'll be. Uh, talking about day one, day two, and day three. All right. Day one. Does anyone know what God created on day one? Correct. Uh, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the, over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning. <coughs> the first day. Genesis <coughs> chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. How do we know that God had, uh, created all that exists? Um... Well, many scientists have found that, um, for instance, if you use the Big Bang Theory, uh, um, people say, um, what caused the Big Bang Theory? And most scientists uh, can't really prove back there because no one like really knows what happened before everyone existed. But a man named, uh, but a famous man named Stephen Hawking uh, uh, created the Times theorem, which states, if the universe contains mass and general relativity, aka people and uh, anything else, uh, reliable, reliably describes cosmic implying a casual agent, aka some form of God, who transcends space and time. Stephen Hawking is one of the most famous atheists in the world, and even he believes that there could be some sort of God. There's no explanation. Some people ask, what has God been doing? Um, it's been proven that the world is like 9 billion years older than uh, the actual world. Uh, in God's days, uh, His days aren't actual days. So no time has actually been created once because He's the Creator. There's no time. Um, uh, most people only look at the book of Genesis when they talk, when they ask for the, the proof of, uh, of how long it took for, or why doesn't it talk about how long it took to make the world. And uh, all the verses uh, lie throughout the, all the proof that they need lies throughout the Bible. And verses like 
Job chapter nine and eight, and Isaiah forty-five chapter or chapter forty-five verse twelve. These verses tell us about what God was doing. What God was doing for all those years was stretching out the heavens, and and uh, in several ver uh, versions, the Old Testament uh, said, has the word nata, which means the expansion of what is being described. No scientist has ever dreamed of an expanding universe until Einstein created theory of relativity. Theory of relativity um, it pretty much just states that everything is just expanding. Um, or uh, today's authorization, we can see that the universe is expanding through many pictures um, with people that uh, do... Uh, look at the stars and astronomy and stuff like that. Um, I'm almost done with day one, uh, but the Bible predicts future discoveries. It predicts power. It can all uh, tell the future. It has been proven over many years. Also in Genesis 1, I'd like to um, point out a fact. It says that the earth was formless and empty. <coughs> Darkness was over the surface of the earth and the spirit of the God was hovering over the water and God said, let there be light. Um, God did not say that he created light at the time. He just said, let there be light. Um, God transformed our world from opaque, like Venus, which is 40 times thicker than uh, the world's atmosphere, um, which is like a really thick cloud, like um, if you go on Venus, which it's nearly impossible to live on Venus. Uh, uh, it's... You, you can't have any light come through, and it's dark. And the only thing that comes through is like gamma rays and stuff like that. And I uh, accessed this information on May 15, 2015, on the website uh, universetoday.com. And uh, four times the um, we can also look at uh, Job's chapter 38, verse 9, for, uh, for clarification when he says, I made the clouds its garments and wrapped it in thick darkness. This clearly shows that the world is now transparent, or translucent, as I said in there. <coughs> Alrighty, day two. Now that I've spoken to you about day one, I'll now prove why day two is proof that God is our creator. In Genesis chapter 1, God says, let there, be a, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. This clearly foreshadows what we know, now know as the water cycle. In Job 38, it talks in detail about the water cycle. It uh, talks about how uh, we need 16 kinds of precipitation for life to exist. It points out the six main common forms of precipitation, which is rain, or the unfrozen kind is rain, mist, and dew, and the frozen is snow, frost, and finally hail. And, it, and it, you can see that up there. Um, uh, without these kinds of precipitation, we would not be able to grow plants all over the world at certain times. Um, as said before, without a translucent atmosphere, there will be no form of life on earth. Day three. Now finally, day three. Uh, now I've talked about how day one and day two prove God is our creator. I will now talk about day three. On day three, God says, let there be land. Genesis is, or, yeah. I don't know how to go back. All right, on, uh, he said, let there be gen uh, land, uh, land mass. Genesis 1, chap uh, chapter 1, verse 9 through 10. Uh, once this happened, our, our water-like universe had land, and with this land came 630 times the amount of thorium as there is on a similar-sized planet, and 340 times more uranium. I don't think that's uh, coincidental, you know, just an explosion and everyone, and there's just tons of uh, this type of ore. Uranium and thorium are uh, known to be uh, radial connected isotopes, that is um, where we get the energy for our land to form our continents, 
It's keeping them together. And uh, it uh, raises a field on our atmosphere. Uh, it's like a field for um, radiation, so people don't get radiation sickness, and uh, it helps protect from the sun, so it doesn't, you know, cause more cancer than uh, what is already known as skin cancer. Um, <coughs> Uh, science shows the growth of land mass, and science also shows that uh, we are once known as an advanced civilization. Since uh, it's, it's, um, it states that um, you only need 29 percent of land mass to be considered a, or for uh, advanced civilization to be uh, available. And it says all that we can <coughs> have. It provides that God only wants to prove his point um, very briefly. Like, uh, he doesn't need to really make his point, and which could cause the ending of the world really quickly. Uh, finally, day three ends with the growth of plants all over the continent, and this happens in the fastest period of time, which um, I've seen uh, very many things that are uh, very... I also uh, got this two days ago at uh, this this website uh, emd.apg. Um, it, it talks about uranium and thorium, and uh, uh, to conclude, God is our creator, and my three main reasons why God is our creator lies in the Book of Genesis. Now that I've shown you the truth, it is up to you to choose.